What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we got some awesome news about the Corvette E-Ray. It has finally been announced officially from GM. We have all the specs, all the pricing, and we have the ability to design our own. So we're going to go into the visualizer and build our own car for what we would want to get here on the Horsepower Obsessed channel if we were to purchase an E-Ray. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we are on the Chevrolet.com website. The very first thing to click on at this time is the Corvette E-Ray, and you can see right down below to the bottom right, you can see Design Yours, which is exactly what we're going to click on here, and then it's going to load up into the actual visualizer, and here we are. So right off the bat, we are greeted with a very similar visualizer that we had to the Z06, and uh, we're just going to go through some of the options here. Right off the bat, we are greeted with what looks like the new gray. And we'll just go down to the bottom here and click customize. But before we do, over the bottom right, it does say that this is available summer of 2023. So uh, once again, we had speculated it was going to be either a late summer or early fall availability for this in the year of 2023 here but they do say that due to current supply chain shortages certain features may not be available uh they're mostly if i had to guess they're mostly referring to any kind of carbon fiber ground effects but anyway let's go ahead and click customize and of course we'll start with body style here you can obviously choose between coupe or convertible but we're going to keep the coupe option here for my particular build. Moving on we're going to go to exterior colors uh this is where things are kind of interesting because we get a little bit of a a different approach this visualizer as you can see guys is a little laggy it is brand new and if i had to guess there's a bunch of people on here trying to build this thing out the new colors here though are going to be of course that riptide blue metallic seawolf gray tricoat and the cacti um the only one i would even be remotely interested in in my personal opinion would be the seawolf gray tricoat i'm really curious to see that in person just because i've not been really blown away by the grays that chevrolet have has offered in the past on the corvette so this might change my mind but for now let's go ahead and select black now what's really cool here is that carbon flash metallic is an option so that may be an option on the z06s as well outside of the 70th anniversary starting next year or the 2024 model year. After we select black, of course, we can come over on the far right, we can select either the body color roof or transparent. If we go to the next page, we also have the option for visible carbon fiber, and then, of course, your convertible roof colors, which still allow you to do the full carbon flash cells and the full carbon flash roof. But let's go back and go into our next thing here, which is going to be the performance slash wheels. So from here, I'm not a giant fan of the new design of the wheels, nor the new bright polished color, so I would just go typical carbon fiber visible weave wheel. I really like the design of that wheel. And when we select that, it is also wanting to add the ZER performance package, which I had a feeling would be the case. We are going to go ahead and confirm that because that's the package I would have on the car if it were up to me. Now, as you guys may or may not know, right now the E-Ray is coming standard with carbon ceramic rotors. There is no option that I see here for any other kind of rotor. It is carbon ceramic or nothing, which is really cool. I love carbon ceramic rotors on cars, but that is definitely one of the reasons why this car has such a high starting price point. Also in this section, right beside the ZER performance package, we have the brake caliper color. I would go with red in this situation just because I'm a big fan of black and red, and I think that looks the best. But anyway, moving on, we are also going to check out some exterior options. So obviously we have the visible carbon fiber spoiler. Now, interestingly enough here, there is no other option for a high wing here. Initially, people were speculating you were going to be able to put the Z07 style wing on this car, but it does not look like it. In the same area, we also have the option for visible carbon fiber ground effects or the carbon flash painted. We would do visible carbon fiber on this one. And this, of course, is going to be extremely limited when this car comes out because those ground effects are very limited on even the Z06. So unlikely that that's going to be something you're going to be able to get right off the bat, which is really strange. But maybe by the time this car is actually able to be ordered, that constraint is cleared up. But Time will tell. The carbon flash badges are standard, so unless you want to go with the chrome style, you would actually have to 
opt into that. The standard ones are already carbon flash, which is pretty cool. You can get the carbon flash painted mirrors on the outside or the visible carbon fiber mirrors. We would do the visible carbon fiber mirror cap on this. I would also do the black exhaust tips just because I'm not a huge fan of chrome and especially on a black car, I believe they, those should be black. Obviously from the back side of the car, it does have the same kind of exhaust that the C8 Corvette Stingray does. Not the center exhaust from the Z06, but either way, I would definitely go with the black tips. Moving on, we have the engine appearance package and lighting, and you can change the color of the engine cover to, of course, that edge red. That's probably what I would do in this case, just because the valve covers are also edge red. So it would look kind of cool in there on a black car, especially. If we go to the next page, it's gonna give us some more options on getting the visible carbon fiber X brace, as well as a silver engine cover and all of our striping here. Now, the full length racing stripes in electric blue are specific to the E-Ray. So if we select those, that is something that will only be available on the E-Ray. This is not a color you can get on any other C8 Corvette as of now. I personally would not do the stripes on this. It's just interesting that this is specific to the E-Ray. We will uncheck that. And then over on the far right, we do have our carbon flash slash edge red stinger stripe. The yellow stripe as well that goes on the front hood there. The Jake carbon flash graphic and even the rear hash graphics for the E-Ray as well. Going back, we are going to go to the trim levels. For my particular car, I would go with a 3LZ. Going back once more, we'll go into the interior colors. Again, here I would go with jet black with red stitching, but the E-Ray does have that new Artemis color, which would go well with the cacti exterior color, if that is your thing. Now, over on the right, we do have some more options as far as carbon fiber is concerned. We have the stealth interior package as well. We have the carbon fiber level one and the carbon fiber level two trim package. That, of course, was something that was kind of introduced with the Z06, but it is for the Corvettes in general. And starting in 2024, it will be for the E-Ray as well. Going back out of the interior, we're also going to go to the seats. Now, for me, I love the competition seats, but in a car like this, I believe I would do the GT2 seat just because it's going to give you a little bit more comfort. And this car seems more like a touring car to me. So I think that would be pretty cool. So the GT2 has already come standard with the 3LZ interior. I would keep the leather just because I prefer that over suede. Uh, here you can select two-tone to really give this interior a bump in color if that's your preference. Seatbelt color, red is already selected somehow. I think this website just knows me, but basically that is the color I would select for the seat belts as well. Now moving back out of here, we are basically done and that is pretty much going to be our car. So let's take a view of the exterior here and here we go. So that is a really, really nice looking car. I am very happy with the way that that thing looks, but at the end of the day, it looks a lot like a Z06, especially with those ground effects and the carbon fiber wheels and everything. It's a very, very Z06-esque looking car, but that's not a bad thing at all. The Z06 is a really gorgeous looking car and this one takes it to a different level. It gives you that same V8 rumble alongside some awesome performance from an electric motor. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds with this car and you're going to get some serious serious gas mileage out of it too. So it's definitely an awesome option for some of you guys out there. I personally would still choose the Z06 over the E-Ray, but I know some of you out there have already said E-Ray is the way you're going. And I'll be honest, guys, this car surprised me today. It, it gives the power that I think is really necessary for this vehicle, especially since it is gonna be a tad heavier with that battery. The price was definitely higher than I was hoping it would be, but the options here are pretty cool because it's giving you almost everything you can get with a Z06. And even though the price is still pretty high, it's pretty close to the Z06, it is still going to be less than the Z06 by about $2,000 right off the bat. Plus, it is very unlikely that you're going to have a gas guzzler fee with this car because of that hybrid motor. So at the end of the day, you could potentially save 6000 plus with this car just because of those two options. Like I said, it's a pretty cool option for those of you out there interested, but let's check out the interior real quick because it is slightly different. And the only real difference of the interior comes just because of the fact that there is a E-Ray logo stamped at the bottom of the steering wheel. But for the most part, we're looking at the same kind of interior as the Z06. Down at the bottom of the steering wheel, you can see where it says E-Ray stamped in that carbon fiber. And then of course, over right where your right knee would be, you do have the auto stop start button and the 
the break regen button as well. So other than those two things, you've got pretty much the exact interior from the Z06. And again, that's not a bad thing. I'll leave it up to you guys how it is you would customize your cars, but definitely let me know in the comment section down below what kind of spec you would go with on yours. And if your spec matches mine or is even close to mine, I'd like to see how many people are going to go with something similar to what we did here. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you want to go ahead and customize your own car, I will drop a link in the description down below of where you can do this. And like I said, let me know what kind of build you're going with so we can talk about it in the comment section. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button yet, please do. It really helps the channel and it helps break the YouTube algorithm and get this out to as many other Corvette enthusiasts as possible. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of videos like this coming. You are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.